Hi everyone, welcome to Core 4 OCR June 2012. We're going to have a look at question 4. You can see we've got a simple differential equation to solve. The method that we're going to use this is separation of variables. That is because we can get one function to do with y on the left hand side of the equation times by dy by dx and one function to do with x on the right hand side of the equation. And note that the letters don't matter as long as the corresponding one on the right is the one on the bottom of your differential. So, to get it like that, we need to get tan onto the other side of the equation, and then we need to follow through with our separation of variables method. Now, you can see that you're given initial conditions that when x is 0, y is also 0. That is going to help us to find our arbitrary constant, okay, our plus c. And once we've done all this work, we need to give our answer in the form y equals something to do with x, y equals f of x. So, we've got e to the 2y, dy by dx, and like I said, we're going to take away tan x from both sides of the equation. What this does is it allows us to integrate both sides of the equation. That's okay because we're doing the same to both sides of the equation, which we're allowed to do as long as we're fair. Okay? Now, because we're integrating and it's a negative, these are together now, but what we can do is we can move the integral sign into the negative. It just makes things a little bit easier and make sure you don't get confused. Now, if we've got the differential of y with respect to x, and then we're effectively finding the rate dx, what we can actually do is think that the two dx's are going to cancel. And it's all to do with rates of change, not to do with algebra. This isn't a divide line, and this isn't a times. It just so happens to work out the same way. Okay, but I don't want to confuse you too much talking about that. So let's get on with the job at hand. We want to integrate e to the 2y with respect to y. So we get e to the 2y, and because we're reversing the chain rule, we get a half here. Okay. On the right-hand side, you're probably going to want your formula book for this. The integral of tan x is ln sec x. And because it's a minus outside, minus ln sec x. Okay. What you could do at this point, without forgetting plus c, of course, because we've just integrated, you don't need a plus c on both sides because you can think, well, we take this away and make it into one big plus c or plus d or whatever you want to call it. So we just need the one. Now, if we make this a plus here, instead of it being 1 over cos x, what we can get is just 1 over cos x to minus 1, because that's what happens when we bring a power into a log. It's one of your log laws, which means it's a reciprocal of 1 over cos x, which is just cos x, to make it a little bit nicer to work with. Okay. Now, we have to First of all, find that when x equals 0, what c is going to be, because y is 0, 2. So where we've got y, we're going to put 0, so 2 times 0, equals ln of cos of 0, because x is 0, 2, add c. Cos of 0 is 1, and ln of 1 is 0. So this thing is going to cancel here. That's just going to be nothing. E to a 0 is 1. Okay. So that's just going to be a half times 1 equals 0 at C, a.k.a. C equals a half. So in our equation, we can change C to a half, and we can carry on with the question now. The only thing that we have left to do is get it in the form of y equals. So what we're going to do now, we're going to times it by 2, 
on both sides of our equation and that gives us e to the 2y equals 2 ln cos x plus 1 and we want to bring the y down from the power so we want to do the inverse of e to both sides of the equation so we get ln e of e to the 2x equals ln of 2 ln cos x plus 1 now what you'll notice is because we have ln and then e they cancel each other out because they're inverses hence you get 2y equals ln 2 times ln of cos x plus 1 and the only thing left to do now divide by the 2 to get y equals a half ln brackets 2 ln cos x add 1 that's your final answer for your six marks hope this has been useful thanks for watching guys goodbye